from the Auburn area to the streets of downtown Seattle. Here we go. This is this is Dr. Ray Hampton. Actually, it's Bishop Hampton. Man, I tell you, if I had another title to give it to you, I'd give it to you. But God has all the, the accolades for you. Thank God. Now, folks, let me just say this because some of you may be new to watching Praise with Thon. This man of God has been here again and again and again. He goes to the hard places. I mean, to Skid Row. My wife and I, we love to go downtown Seattle and just kick it, you know, we get some time on the weekend to be able to keep this marriage together for more than 41 years. And so we go downtown Seattle, go and have a little bit of dinner or whatever, and we see you on the streets preaching to the ones that everybody's scared of. And thank God for that. And here you've been taking time to be able to come and talk to us about what God has done in your life through TBN. Share a little bit, preacher, about what God is doing here. And I believe as people sow, they can see all of the fruit that remains here that you're sowing into. You're getting a return, not just off of TBN souls, 38,000, 37, I'm sorry, 38 million people born again through TBN, but through the ministries that you're supporting like this one right here, when you help him to be able to be encouraged by being here. Just share, my brother. Well, you know, Pastor Don, I'm, I'm excited about being here this morning. TBN has literally have been amazing in our ministry since 1991. We started on the streets of Everett, Washington, on the corner of Kobe and Hewitt. And there's times that I was going through things in the daytime when, when pastors or leaders or churches can even understand what it means to really be on the street. But I've been able to turn on TBN, and I've been encouraged by TBN. And I thank God for the people that are supporting TBN, because it had not been for TBN, when the churches are closed at midnight, mm. I'm able to turn on television, even in a late night yeah. hour, right. because you know, somebody told me once, late in the midnight hour, that God is going to turn it around. And there's times when I turn on TBN, and it was amazing to me, there was a word that God had just for me, right. just to make it through that next day mm -hmm. and so by going to the streets started in Everett in 1991 moving this ministry to Seattle in 1997 I realized that TBN is just a virtual um, digital footprint type of ministry right. and I began to wonder say you know what would happen if we came out of our churches and we went out into the field it's true that they say Washington is one of the most unchurched states well if that's true everybody's not coming to our church so I decided to say God what do you have for me mm -hmm. and you know, Pastor Don, if I can just share that dream, it started when I was in Everett, Washington, and I was at a church, and I got a call from a, a man, and he said, you know, I want to hear about your ministry. I'm starting a ministry in Los Angeles, California, and I began to hear about that, and I said, well, you know, I don't got time to go start another church and go start street ministry and all these different things, and there was a guy named um, Dr. Tim Story, mm -hmm. and Tim Story had gave a book that I wrote on evangelism to this guy at the airport. He contacted me in Everett, told me he was starting started a ministry in the LA, LA area, and I say, you know, who's this old guy? You know, I don't got really time, you know? You know, I got a dream, I got a vision, I got things to do. And he told me his name, and I'm at the a Bible bookstore, and I ran across this book, and it says, is there a miracle mm. in your house? Mm. And his name was Tommy Barnett. That's right. And from that time, I went to that Los Angeles Dream Center in, in uh, 1995. Matthew Barnett was 20 years old, started a church, and I began to dream, and I said, wait a minute, I've been looking looking around Seattle. I've been looking in Auburn and Puyallup and Tacoma for a ministry organization, what God called me to do to take it out to be a mobilization virtual church. And I stayed with the LA Dream Center for over two years, traveled there every month. Wow. And I want to say TBN has been amazing. We had what you call the war room with Pastor Tommy and Matthew. Yeah. And every single month I was on TBN. And when I came back to Seattle, when the Seattle Dream Center was birthed, I thank God for the people that are even watching right now. And if you call that number just one eight 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 seven three one one thousand. Maybe there's another Ray Hampton out there where he looked around and there was nobody could understand that he's reaching out to the pimps and the prostitutes and the players and the game bangers. You see, it's more than just going to church and then going to Sizzlers or going to your favorite restaurant. You know, when church get out, you got to get out when you feel like sleeping and you got to get out to the streets and reach out to people. But you might not can't find anybody that's doing what God's called you to do but you know what maybe he's called you to be a trendsetter and not a pace setter yeah. so i see pastor matthew barnett and i went there every month
month, every month. We had the Metro kids, went out to the streets. We went to Hollywood Boulevard, walking up and down the streets. We just went on and on. And when I came back to Seattle, I'm going to have to tell you the rest of the story later because I'm so excited I can jump up and click my heels. Because when it's, it's time for us to be the virtual church. That's right. That's right. He said, well, he said he can jump up and click his heels. I will see that. All right. We'll be praying on that one. That's okay. Good.